is our silver anniversary. We are an organization that was formed on July 28, 1968, at a time when we felt that little of nothing, little of nothing was being done to upgrade the conditions that Indian people were forced to live under here in America, and certainly nothing was being taught in the public and parochial school systems of America about Indian culture, tradition, and the rich history and the contributions that we have made to modern day society. So these young boys that are singing on this drum here tonight, this is the seventh generation that our grandfathers talked about right here. Right here in front of you tonight, you're witnessing that here. This is a fulfillment right here of age-old prophecies, right here. They said that seven generations, seven generations after we signed treaties with the United States government, they talked about all the suffering that we would go through as Indian people, the alcohol, the drugs, the diphtheria, the smallpox, AIDS, the pollution, the water that we drink would be unpure and unclean to drink. They said during the fifth generation, during the fifth generation, the drum would be heard again. The fifth generation, my brothers and sisters, was the American Indian Movement. We built the very first thing we did is we built the drum. And we said, who is this government? Who are these people? Who are these people that we gave religious freedom to? Give them everything that we wanted. Who are these people that were the first welfare recipients in America that came here on boats? Who are they to dictate to us and tell us that we can't practice our sacred ways? So the American Indian Movement was the fifth generation. And our children were the sixth generation. They're the ones that went through the schools, the alternative schools, learn about their culture, their tradition, their song, their dances. And my brothers and sisters, right here in front of your eyes, this is the seventh generation. And I always tell these young people, I always tell them, you're 40, 50 years ahead of me. When I was your age, I'd have been punished for doing the things that you're doing today, singing these beautiful songs. So this is the generation where all of our great leaders are gonna come from right here. Oh,